How's it going everyone? My name is Cynical and welcome back to yet another Higurashi when they cry. So we are in arc 5 titled Mayakashi. And without further ado, let me just shut the fuck up and continue from where we last left off. Which if you have not caught up, there is a playlist link in the description. So please go check that out. As in the last episode, shit went down. I was having such a happy dream! Satoshi-kun was in the dream, of course. He was leading his normal everyday life. He was back on the baseball team. Iri and I acted normally around him because we knew that's how mature people should act. We welcomed him back, as if he had been here with us the whole time. Although he hits well in practice sessions, he still doesn't do well in the real game. Come on, Satoshi-kun! Three strikes already? Oh my god! I'm cheering for you, bud! Then Satoshi-kun pouted as he mumbled. <sighs> I felt tears pouring down my face. Ooh. Sniffle. Sniffle. Satoshi-kun. Satoshi-kun. <laughs> the happy dream faded out with my sobs. The harder I tried to focus on it, the faster it faded. Soon it was all gone. I could see the bright morning sun through a crack in the curtains. Hmm. I was in Mion's room at the Sonozaki house. When did I come back? I was crouching in the corner of the room and crying. A dream is a dream. I wished I hadn't woken up. But one must wake up from a dream. We live in a world where there are no dreams, and that's why we always wake up. But I wasn't sure if I was the only one dreaming that dream, because I felt like Satoshi-kun was right beside me. Satoshi-kun? Satoshi-kun? There was no reply. That was the rule. If it was Satoshi-kun, I wished it smile at me just once. Why you say it would... Uh, what? Uh, you're saying he's an it? Uh, that's... Okay, you know what? I'm just going to move on. <laughs> just weird, I'm just saying. But Satoshi-kun's presence faded away as if he were never there to begin with. I heard the phone ring by the front door. Ah, that's right. I was the only one in the house right now. I had to answer it. I got up to walk to the front door. I felt unsteady, so I put my hand on the wall to support myself. I hardly got any sleep. It was like I had a bad cold. The phone continued to ring. I probably didn't have to answer it, actually, but I was still half asleep and not all I could think of was answering the phone. Hi, Sonozaki desu. Hello. She's dead. <laughs> oh, shit, just blurt that out. Oh, can you imagine? It was Uncle Kimiyoshi. Hi. Kino no ga kotaeta mitai desu. Shibaraku nekasete oko to moimasu. So da ne. Muri ni oko sha warui na. Mion chan mo kore kara gakkou da yo ne. Ja, makuramoto ni dengon wo oitoite moratte mo ii ka na. Wakarimashita. Nanto dengon shimashou. Eto ne. Kino no ken de. Oh, 
if I remember correctly from the events of the Watanagashi arc, he's next. And this is when it happens, after the supposed emergency meeting from the assembly hall. Hmm. And then it's, uh, yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I think that's right. I think that's right. What the fuck? As soon as I put the phone down, it rang again. What the fuck? Stop calling me, goddammit! I gotta go to school! Oh, hello, Kasai. Kasai to Moshimasuga. Mion san deska. Oh, hi, Ogozaimas. Kasai san deska. Oh, hi, Ogozaimas. Sion san wa, mada sochira ni irasha imaska. I wasn't panicked, but I did hesitate. I could tell him no, or I could play both Mion and Shion. Shion was like, Kao Aratemasta. Yon de Kimasne. I decided to play two parts. I went back and forth between, not between, down the hallway and picked up the phone again. Kasai? Ohayo desu. おはようございます。親父<笑> みんなダム戦争の時の戦犯だったわけじゃない。それが今年はちょいと路線が違う感じですよね。どう思う？さあ、私の預かり知るところの話ではありません。Kasai wasn't the type to talk too much. If it was about something complicated, he usually responded like that. 夕べの犠牲者の二人が どうしてお社様の祟りを受けたか知ってるいいえ実は夕べちょっと聞いた話だとなんか綿流しの最中に最後でにこっそり忍び込んだらしいよ鍵を針金か何かで開けてカサイ went silent for a while I held my breath while waiting to see how he responded. I expected him to say that he couldn't believe those people were chosen as victims, just for sneaking into a storehouse. I expected him to say that it was just too unrealistic. So this I went along with Kasai, but I felt disturbed on the inside. Kasai didn't wonder why breaking into this ritual storehouse would justify their deaths. I'd have known Kasai for a long time, which is why I knew there was a heavy meaning to what he said. Oh. Oh. Oh no. Why would you go and tell him that? Wait, what? Oh shit. Um. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> yeah, nervous laughter. It's contagious. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Why did you tell Kasai that? <laughs> Why? What is going through your fucking head, you fucking moron? <laughs> その、高野さんに一緒にどうって誘われてさ。Uh, 
高野さんと富武さんそして私とほら前原屋敷に引っ越してきた圭一って男の子と一緒に4人で Is she doing this because she might think that Kasai and a few other Yakuza members take s care of the quote unquote sacrifices? Hmm. I mean, that would be a pretty smart call, I guess, but still, I mean, putting attention to yourself when it's unnecessary, I don't know, man. I don't know. I heard Kasai sighing heavily. Even though he didn't say a word, I could tell he was shocked. I'd have never known him to act this way before. Oh. Okay. Okay, that reaction then, that tells you a lot of things. Maybe he is the one in charge of sacrifices. You never know. I mean, if he's a. Mm. Ooh. Okay. Dude, really? Kasai? You're gonna bring that up? <laughs> You're gonna bring that up? Okay. Okay. Oh, oh, you wanna confess something? You wanna confess something, bitch? What? How do you think you can take care of this? Wait, what does he mean by that? Wait, what? Am I missing something here? Oh. Oh, okay. It's maybe five this year. Oh, fucking Christ. Really? No joking around. Eh, well, kind of our. Liar. Sorry,私だってやばいとこだって認識はあったよ。Liar. ていうか、だって私ずっと沖の宮。ばあさんに嫌われて以降、ひなみ沢にはほとんど近づいてもいない。その上、学園に閉じ込められて過ごしてたんですよ。そんなの私が知るはずないじゃない。I heard another sigh from Kasai. <laughs> that sigh told me my excuses would be useless. シオンさん、私はあなたの味方のつもりです。as much as I can. That says a lot. <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh-oh.第一。あ、あ、ごめん。お願いが来たから切ります。じゃね。Click. <laughs> I interrupted Kasai and hang up the phone. I didn't want to hear it. I didn't want to hear Kasai reject me. He, who had been my ally all my life. <laughs> okay. Yeah, shit indeed. Shit and damn. And damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I could hear the sound of the cicadas. The sound made it feel like I was being cooked on a huge frying pan, making a sizzling noise. I couldn't help feeling remorseful. Now I knew that sneaking into the ritual storehouse wasn't a laughing matter. But I really didn't know it at the time. Sure, the door was locked. So they didn't want anyone to go in. Then why did they change the lock? What did they say? I think it was that Rikachama said that the previous lock was too heavy for her. So she had it changed to that cheap one. That was how Takano-san broke in. If the heavy lock was still there, this wouldn't have happened. I slapped my own forehead. Ah. <sighs> Then I took a deep breath. I had to calm down. What was the point of fussing now? I'd already passed the point of no return. There was no use thinking otherwise. The hag was already dead. Even if she wasn't, 
she was now at the bottom of the well. Therefore, if it was already past the point where I could just cut my fingers off in apology. I felt so unstable. I'd walked on the fence around the swings at the park before, as if I was walking on a tightrope. It was fun because even if I fell, it was only a very short distance, but it wouldn't have been fun if I were up really high. At that very moment, I was in fact already on a tightrope that was a lot higher than the fence at the park. As soon as I took a step, the rope behind me would vanish. I couldn't step back because there was nothing behind me. That was, in short, the current situation I found myself in. Just standing in one spot was all I could do. Even if I never took another step, I'd fall if I wasn't careful. If I forced myself to walk, the danger would only increase. But if I didn't move, I would fall eventually. I couldn't see what was ahead of me. There was no guarantee that I'd ever find firm ground. But if I stopped, there was only one fate waiting for me. I have to move onward. If staying here guaranteed death, then I'd rather try to walk, even if I'd die as a result. Even if there was a dead end ahead of me, at least I tried my hardest. In general, I try to be optimistic. I could accept my life not lasting particularly long. But, I wouldn't go easily. I'd struggle as much as possible. I'd already killed the hag. For that, there could be no other punishment than death. I knew my life would end soon. In other words... I was actually already dead. I clenched my fists tightly as I muttered. Even if I had to die, I couldn't die easily. This was my chance to avenge Satoshi-kun. Who did it? For what purpose? And why? I was going to investigate, I was going to question, I was going to expose, yes, I was going to settle the score. I had to carry out the plan I came up with yesterday. I could hide the hag's death somehow. All I'd have to say is that she hadn't been feeling well since Watanagashi. I could do it all while pretending to be Mion. Just in case her friends at school became suspicious, maybe I'd start telling them I hadn't been feeling well either. In fact, I did feel groggy from my lack of sleep. When I became Mion, Shion would automatically disappear. I had already told Kasai that I snuck into the shrine storage, so he'd probably end up telling people that I was demoned away, due to the curse of Oyashiro-sama. The last person I'd have to think about was the fourth one who snuck into the ritual storehouse, Keichi Marbara. Maybe I can use him as bait to lure out the enemy. Sorry, Keichan. You're going to be my bait. I felt a little bad since I was starting to like him. With all that figured out, let's go to school! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I'd gone to school as Mion before, so I knew how things worked. It was almost time to leave the house. Mi-chan! <laughs> Right, 
Rena put her hand on my forehead. Rena no te, tsumetai na. Mii chan, chotto da kedo netsu aru yo. So na tai shita koto nai yo. Han nichi mo sureba kerotto naot chau te. Honto ni daijoubu ka yo. Amari muri suru na yo. Are, kei chan, kizukatte kureru no? Haha, ure shi na. I'd always thought he was a goofball, so I was a little surprised. I'd thought they would tease me, but they didn't. くれぐれも無理するなよって言いながら時間はっ走らないと、ま、間に合わない<笑>スリリングな朝になっちゃったね鈍った体にはちょうどいい勝つかもね走ろそれでは院長号令I'd made the same mistake before. I never learned, do I? Tuh! Mii-chan, honto ni daijoubu ka na? Kyo wa kuai waru so. Ara, so nan desu no. Sore wa yoku arimasen wa ne. It was a good idea to make them believe I was sick. Even if I did things differently from Mion, I had an excuse. Ma, so no, are da? Don't you fucking dare. Don't you fucking start. Oh shit. Ah! Mion's friends kept each other occupied and left me alone. Hmm. Keichi Mabara. He might suddenly disappear one day. I couldn't let that happen. That would be like letting a fish take the bait and swim away while I was fast asleep with a fishing pole in my hands. I couldn't miss the moment the enemy took a bite out of Keichi. I had to be very careful. But it was impossible to keep my eyes on him 24 hours a day. Spying on him at school like this wasn't good enough. Should I have him? No, I read that right. Sorry. <laughs> My mind. Whee-hoo. Should I have met him? Okay, you know what? Why is my brain fucking up these words? Should I have him meet with Shion and let her explain that she, uh, he's in danger? Oh my god, I'm so sorry. What the fuck? Like my brain took a giant shit. Maybe we could set up a strategy together. I didn't think Casey realized how serious a crime it was to... Step into a ritual storehouse. I hadn't, after all. Since last year, all the incidents that related to the curse had probably been investigated in secret. People involved with the three families would know about the incident from last night, but Keiichi doesn't, shouldn't, know anything. If he knew where he stood now, he'd be more cautious too. That should make him aware of his surroundings. And maybe he would notice if anything odd took place. Okay, so back to the Watanagashi arc. I think this is when she tells Keichen about Takano-san and Tamitake-san's deaths. And then he becomes, you know, cuckoo in the head as well because uh, he thinks he's going to be sacrificed or whatnot. Hmm. The teacher caught him sleeping, so she ordered him to go wash his face. He walked out into the hallway. I was sleepy too. I had to be alert, but I couldn't clear my mind due to the lack of sleep. I decided to go home early. Since I'd been pretending to be sick since morning, my request was approved. 
As I exited the building, I saw Kei Chen. Kei Chi. Kei. Blah! You know what? Kei Chen. Yeah, sure. What the fuck? <laughs> Washing his face. <sighs> Don't you fucking start with me. <laughs> Don't you yawn. No, that's contagious. Fuck. Oh. It looked like it felt refreshing for him to wash his face with cold water. I washed my face too, but it didn't feel as good as it looked. ミオン、風邪の方はいいのかよ。眠いのは寝不足じゃなくて、風邪薬の副作用なんだろ。ん?ああ、実は内緒なんだけど、昨日はお祭りの後で親族の宴会に巻き込まれちゃってさ。Gulp. I pretended to drink with an invisible glass. Not of your damn business. <laughs> Keiichi exaggerated his reaction. Of course he did. But he still seemed worried. Ha-ha. <laughs> Keiichi turned around to go back to the classroom. I stopped Keiichi. He, in response, turned around. なんだ変なこと聞くけど、深く考えないで答えてね。それは内容によりけりだな。昨日の渡流しの晩さ、富武さんと高野さんに会わなかった? I noticed Keiichi's body tense up. His reaction proved that he felt guilty about sneaking into the ritual storehouse. He was frightened that Mion Sonosaki might know about it. I guess this was enough to give him a certain impression of Mion Sonosaki. I could clearly see how dismayed Keiichi felt. He was trying to come up with an excuse. He was both a bad liar and a bad actor. He wasn't really that intelligent at all. Rude. Well, that would make him a suitable friend for Mion. Again, rude. He was just a brat, unlike Satoshi-kun. Again, rude! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Stop comparing everyone with fucking Satoshi-kun. Jesus Christ, what the fuck is wrong with you? Although, when it came to lying and acting, Satoshi-kun was about the same level. Maybe Keiichi should be credited for at least trying to tell a lie. Satoshi-kun wouldn't even... wouldn't have even said a thing. I didn't need to be thinking about him right now. そう。じゃあもう一つ質問ね。あ、ガッド。同じく夕べ。No。シオンに合わなかった。なあ。This was a very mean question. Keiichi was perplexed, as I'd expected. それ、昨日も聞いたよな。俺、会ったかどうかわからないって答えたと思ったぜ。え? I'd asked him that yesterday? He must have meant that Mion Sonozaki asked him that question. In other words, she asked him a the she asked him that after he left the storehouse and got back together with his friends. Eh, actually it was shortly after, right? Hmm. Damn you, Mion. When I asked her, she said she'd had no idea. We went into the ritual storehouse. Shit. そうだっけ。また改めて聞いたら違う答えが返ってくるかなって思ってさ。ど、どうしてあったかどうかをそんなに気にするんだよ。Uh, I feel sorry for Mion, but it looks like she's going to get her ass whooped later. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> uh, I shouldn't have lied. Uh. He was getting defensive. 
Keiichi couldn't hide his panic as he flared up at me. Okay, stop that reading their names for some reason. Uh, and Keiichi was really perplexed now. This wasn't fun at all, but it could still be an interesting game. Oh, goody, let's play games! You fucking sicko. I made sure Keiichi felt a sense of crisis, then left. Nobody can tell us apart. We're Mion and Shion, perfect twins. Page 186. Damn, that's a short one. All right. When I returned to the, to the Sonosaki house, I saw a woman with an apron on. It was a housekeeper. Her name was Shimik. How do you pronounce that? Shimiko? Shimiko-san. The hag had a few housekeepers who took care of the chores around the house. Okay. Okay, good, I did pronounce it right. Today was her turn to come help out at the house. Oh, good eh? She'd arrived, but the gate was locked and she couldn't get in. She'd called, but there was no answer. So she had been just standing there, not knowing what to do. Oh no, an evil mood? Wonder what that could be. Ah, ah. ah probably her being dead. <laughs> that would create an evil mood. Woo, spirits. Shimiko-san tried to remember if she had done something wrong. ゆべ、だいぶ遅くまで借り借りしてたから、多分まだ起きられないんじゃないでしょうか。知ってるでしょ。一度機嫌を損ねたばっちゃがどれだけの期間機嫌が悪いかを。そうですね。困りましたね。
then fell asleep as if someone switched me off. Giggity? <laughs> Question mark. Uh. Well, the younger one? <laughs> Wait, why? What? Okay. Why word it like that? Okay, that's throwing me off. This is Sonosaki. Well, the younger one. Just say the fucking name. Why can't you say your name? What? Hello? <laughs> Keiichi had no idea that Mion, that the Mion he saw earlier was actually me. He didn't notice when we talked in person, so there's no way he would notice on the phone, right? <laughs> I never knew that playing two roles would be so much fun. To feel such enjoyment in this game of life and death. Or death, excuse me. Maybe I was getting used to this situation. Or maybe my senses had gone numb. ちょっと親が電話待ちをしてるんで、そんなに長話はできないんだ。何の用だ。お話ししたいことがあったんですけど、長電話が無理じゃ仕方ないですね。じゃあさ。<笑> Oh, yeah. Oh, the library scene. Alright, here we go. I actually find this pretty cool. Now we're at the serious part of this whole arc, and now that we're getting the other side of things, this is pretty cool. I like it. Hmm. We decided to meet in Okonomiya. It wasn't easy to get there from uh, Inamizawa, but I had to hurry. I couldn't run into Keiichi as he was heading there himself. I recalled that the key to the hag's motorcycle was in her secret drawer. The hag usually got driven around for public events, but when she had her own errands, she rode her motorcycle. I didn't realize old women can actually drive motorcycles because they're old and they're motorcycles. They're, they're more dangerous than cars. Oh, God damn it. Okay, I guess Japan has some weird laws. Hey, what the hell, right? Keiichi, I assumed, was going to ride his bicycle. I tried to get in Okonomiya before he did. Hmm. Keiichi arrived quite a bit later than me. Well, yeah, you fucking have a motorcycle. He has a bike. Duh. <laughs> uh, yeah, motorcycles are faster after all. There were hardly any traffic lights to worry about on the way here either. <laughs> I don't remember him saying that. Huh. Huh? Oh, お前も夕べは寝不足だろ。隠してもおい、おい。学校を早退したに違いない。残念でした。私はそもそも今日はずる休みしてますので。私、お姉より要領いいですから。おい、おい。学校をずる休みするのを要領いいとは言わないと思う
But since I needed to hear everything they were going to discuss, I didn't want to be. This was the Shishibone Public Library. It was sizable, filled with the collection of moldy smelly books. But they did have air conditioning, so it was quiet. It was the perfect place for when you wanted to be alone. After Satoshi Kun disappeared last year, I came here a lot to think about various things. This was where I first met Takano-san. I didn't want to run into her with Keiichi in tow, but then I remembered that she was already dead. How could you, for how, how could you forget that? <laughs> what? The first floor of the building was occupied by government offices. The library itself was on the second floor, so we had to walk up the huge staircase to get there. Oh, you poor, poor fool. I tasted cool air on my skin as soon as I walked through the automated door. Feels wonderful. Unlike outside, it was very quiet in here. The room temperature was both comfortable and suitable for books. I could smell the scent of old pages. Keiichi walked up to the return table after he said so. Because it was a weekday, there was hardly anyone around. It really was very quiet. I was going to chat about some ordinary things, and then move on to the main subject. After Keiichi returned to books, I invited him into the inner section of the library. Oh my god. No, not the Sheen. Why? <laughs> Uh, Keiichi knew me on well, but he didn't know me at all. He showed an interest in our life story. This was exactly where Takano-sen told me about the true history of Hinamizawa a year ago. No, it's not, but okay, yeah, sure, whatever. I was about to tell Keiichi about things that were very similar to that. Did God have a sense of irony? <laughs> Hmm. I told them the reason why the Sonazaki family was so powerful in this area. I assumed that since Keiichi came from the city, there was a good chance he couldn't even begin to understand how one old family could literally control an entire area. Unless I explained to him how powerful the Sonosaki family was. He wouldn't understand what kind of danger was barreling toward him. Hold up one second. Wow. <laughs> We've gotten through a lot and it's only been 43 minutes? Damn! I'm actually reading a lot faster and clearer this time today. Hmm. Nice. <gasps> Wait a minute. Oh, really? Is it? Is it? Keiichi counted with his fingers. He was clearly surprised to hear all about, all that about, the Sonazaki family. It seemed he was flexible enough to accept even something that sounded outrageous to him. He was starting to understand things, although slowly. The way he reviewed Mion, Son Shion, Sorry, the way he viewed Shion and Sonazaki was changing little by little too. That should be enough background information. Now I could go on to explain about Mion Sonazaki, the successor. Then I'd change the subject, like Takano-san did with me. I'd go on to talk about the curse of Oyoshio-sama, and then the series of mysterious deaths. <laughs> <laughs> but then your plans are ruined, Shion. Brahahahaha, <laughs> bitch. 
Hello, Oishi. <laughs> a fat man with a c- <laughs> wow, rude. A fat man with a cigarette suddenly cut into our conversation. Oishi, why was he here? No more. Wouldn't you like to know? Konnichiwa. Hello. Kyowa date desu ka na? Murai mashi desu ne. So da to omotta ra jama shinai de hoshikatta desu ne. Ouch. Oishi-san. What timing? It couldn't be coincidence. I knew this man too well. He was crafty, sly, and clever. His presence here just can't be a coincidence. Did he see us somewhere in town and follow us? I'll give that a 90% yes. But why? Did he need something from me, Keiichi, or perhaps to both of us? From what I could guess, I didn't think it was me that he wanted something from. It was almost like he was trying to keep Keiichi away from me. Oh, shit. Oh, she was aware I gave false testimony to protect Satoshi Kun last year. Maybe he didn't think he could talk to Keiichi if I was around. Why did Oishi need to talk to Keiichi? It must be about the incidents from yesterday. I'm sure there were plenty of plainclothes officers at the festival, so they had to have seen who was last with the victims. Hmm. Wait, is that even legal? I don't, I don't know if that is. Uh, oh, whatever. In other words, Keiichi and me. But Oishi knew I was hard to deal with. That was why he was focusing on Keiichi at present. Why did he have to show up at a time like this? Maibara-san, Yeah. Tough guy, wait, what? Oh. <laughs> Two timing. <laughs> you give him too much credit. Keiichi looked at me, hoping for assistance. He blushed. The way he panicked reminded me of Satoshi Kun. That aside, this wasn't going well. Oh, she might even start talking about my relationship with the Satoshi Kun. Oh my god, don't do it, don't do it, no! I didn't want him to, nor did I want Keiichi to have any preconceptions. Oh, she took a quick glance at me. Hello. His eyes told me something. He was purposefully talking about the things I'd rather not talk about. He was basically telling me to leave, or he'd continue on to something that was worse than what they were currently talking about. Dude, you threatening me, bruh? You threatening me, bruh? Come on! I will... I'll, I'll kick you in the... In the... In the... Uh, where, where the sun don't shine. <laughs> uh, what? Where am I? Who am I? What am I doing? What is this? What game is this? Oh my god! I lost my mind. He didn't use words, but his eyes clearly communicated that way. Ah, damn that big fat weasel. Rude. I realized that I wouldn't achieve anything like this, even if I stayed longer. So I used my part-time job as an excuse to leave. Oh, she looked at me and grinned. Oh, damn it. He won today, but I'll win next time, you fat bastard. <laughs> God damn it, Keiji, you fucker. Yeah, a freshly nice call. Okay. Probably okay, huh? Alright. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh yeah, because we left, so those two, we won't see it in this arc. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. 
All right. So no ne Oh. Okay. Cool. I thought that was going to be the end of the chapter, but I guess not. It kind of seemed like that it was going to end there. That was weird. The Hex motorcycle had become my primary means of transportation. My next stop was the staff meeting at the Furude Shrine's assembly hall. It was easy to imagine how a normal meeting would play out if it were just celebrating the end of Watanagashi. But today's staff meeting was likely going to be as strained as the Sanazaki family consoles. Yes. This staff meeting was going to deal with the heart of Hinamizawa. I couldn't let my guard down, even for a moment. I rested for a while at the house, then left for the meeting. I walked up the long stairs to the Furude Shrine. At the top, I saw some elderly men smoking in front of the hall. Since they had a minor fire a long time ago, it had been made into a non-smoking area. Hello. The head of the Kimiyoshi family, Uncle Kimiyoshi, noticed me and waved. He must have... He must not have expected me on to come alone. Normally, it would have been either the hag by herself or me on tagging along as an assistant. They all understood how troublesome she was when in a bad mood. They smiled bitterly in sympathy. Yes, yes. <laughs> what did he mean? Has Oryu san told you anything? That line by itself didn't really explain much. The staff meeting was usually led by the mayor, the head of the Kimiyoshi family. And he'd asked me, as the substitute for the Sonosaki family head, if I'd heard anything from her. I then realized who was supposed to lead today's staff meeting. Yeah, you fucked up. Oji, Janakte, Kimiyoshi san! Hmm. According to the ranking order of the family councils, any substitute for the Sonosaki family head is above the Kimiyoshi family head. In other words, I'd have to lead today's meeting. There was no way I could do that. Fantastic! <laughs> How convenient! <laughs> oh, son of a bitch. お嬢さんから聞いてる話があったら話してくれればいいからね。Yes, sir. put out their cigarettes and went back into the hall. The tables were set in a horseshoe shape, and I was told to sit next to the chair reserved for the chief. The seat opposite mine was empty. Considering its location, it was probably for the Furude family head, Rika Furude. But somebody had said earlier that everybody was already here. Either Rika Chama had called in absent, or the empty seat was just a formality. Knowing that's the subject of this meeting, I don't think that the Furude family head would even want to attend. Even if Rika Chama actually attended, she wouldn't be able to say anything. All she'd uh, usually do at the Sonosaki family councils was draw pictures on a notepad. She would probably end up drawing pictures in this meeting too. Besides, they probably didn't want her to hear anything unpleasant. In this way, the empty Furude family seat was easily explained. Okay. When everyone was seated, the head of the women's association served tea. She gave me an evil look, trying to tell me to help out. I got up and did so. Son of a bitch! How dare you! After that, everyone fell quiet, and the secretary stood up. Mm. 
それでははずめに村長さんからご挨拶をいただきます。Right、村長、どんぞ。ああ、か、えー。座ったままで失礼します。Why so close, old man? ケンちゃんも座ったままでいいよ。今日は平日の夕方にお集まりいただきまして、誠にありがとうございました。また昨日は。綿流しを本当にお疲れ様でございましたおかげさまで本年も事故もなく大変な盛況のうちに終了させることができました祭りにも村中から大勢がいらっしゃり本当に素晴らしい祭りになったものと思うとおりますえー、来たの何人だっけ大本営発表だと五千人だそうです。God damn! わはは、What the fuck? Everyone laughed except me. 今後もますますの文化の向上のために一丸となって頑張ってまいりたいと思います。Okay, hold up. Excuse me? What was so funny about that? わは、Okay. I don't fucking know. <laughs> okay. よろしくお願いいたします。I guess there's an inside joke there somewhere, I guess. Oh. <laughs> clap, clap, clap. An applause with only eight people doesn't sound so great. So, I'm going to go to the next one. 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 ありがとうございます。それではただいま、マンザでのご承認をいただきましたんで、君吉村長さんに司会を譲りたいと思います。よろしくお願いします。どうも、ケンちゃんお疲れ様。では、司会を引き継ぎましたので、えー、申し訳ない。カーテン閉めましょうかね。OK。Shit about to go down, isn't it? Everyone closed the curtains nearest to them. The sun was still up, but with all the curtains closed, the room became very dark. The village chief explained the details of the incident as well as what went on with the police. A police vehicle discovered Tamatake's body on its way back to Okonomiya last night. Oishi's special curse unit was standing by, expecting something to happen for the fifth time. So they responded quickly. Hmm. Since Tamitake san and Takano san were rarely apart, Ushi got in touch with the neighboring prefectural police departments and asked them to look for her. As a result, they found a burned body of a woman in the mountains of the Gifu prefecture, and the body was then identified as Mio Takano. Considering the circumstances, the police ended up labeling the incident as a fifth. Of the ongoing series of the mysterious deaths. Oh boy. When he finished, there was a dead silence. I watched to see who would speak first. Nobody said a thing. Then I noticed Kimiyoshi looking at me. Ah. This is, uh, this was where the head of the Sanosaki family would speak. Mion chan, Ojo san wa nani ka itte ta kai? Everyone looked in my direction. Oh boy. I was sure they could see the hag in me. Sonozaki Ke Toshu Daiko Sonozaki Mion des Honjitsua Toshu Orioni Kawarimaste Shusek Sasete Itadakimasta Yoroshko Nega Itashimas. I became Mion. I tried to become as cold and unfeeling as the Mion I witnessed a year ago. That cold version of Mion was inside of me. That was me. I was her. Fuko ni ste, Oya Shiro sama no oikari wa, Gonen me ni mo kudasare rukoto ni narimashita. Taihen kanashi koto des. Everyone was held captive by my words. I wasn't a little girl anymore. The hag was speaking through my mouth. 
They all heard me and trembled in fear. どうして今年もタタリンがあったかわかる方はいますか After my question, everyone whispered to each other. そう。サイグデンの金を犯し、土足で聖域を踏み荒らして、汚れを持ち込んだからです。何事故だ,だ ?A few elderly men got up and yelled. あ、ほんたれが信じられん小僧どもだ。腹渡た引き裂いても、アクタリンガクトムじゃん。おやしろさま、お怒りをおしずめください。What the fuck was that? Was he eating while saying that? Nom 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 nom. Oh my fucking god. Oh shit. おやしろさま、おやしろさま。Okay, please stop. これだからよそもなすっかなんも考えねえ。ガクガクもないよシャレンと Delinquent number two? だよあれすってらんこってなるねバチャたりともが I bet you anything these are the same fucking voice actors of the delinquents from the past episode <laughs> They sound so fucking similar <laughs> The angry old men yelled even as they trembled in fear Their sudden change scared me more than a little Even Uncle Kimiyoshi, who was usually so gentle and sweet, became like a demon of war, cursing those who broke the rule of the ritual storehouse. It had become like a raging ocean inside the assembly hall. Their yells spun, ara- spun about like a whirlpool. They roared, crashed, and howled. Even while doing nothing but watch, I could feel myself turning pale. Mion threatened me yesterday, and Kasai had been shocked this morning. What I saw before me was similar to that. Even the sweet and gentle Uncle Kimiyoshi was saying they deserved to die. I was fearful for the sudden change in those elderly men. More than anything, the fact that they all believed that those people deserved to die were for trespassing is what terrified me. It wasn't just that, of course. The real thing I was scared of was that I was one of the people they wanted dead. In other words, it was almost like they were telling me to die of the curse. If they were to find out, I snuck into the ritual storehouse. It was very possible that they would strangle me right now on the spot. Actually, they might not kill me that easily. By then, I was certain. The people in this room were true believers in Oyashiro sama, just like the hag. They wouldn't hesitate to murder whoever made Oyashiro sama angry on his behalf. Even if they didn't carry out the killing themselves, they would pretend they didn't see anything. Yes, not even if my head was cut off right in front of them. Everyone here would act in collusion and say I never attended today. If they all testify that they waited and I didn't show, I'd be demoned away. It would be far too easy for them to erase someone and have them disappear. There was no mistake. The people linking the hag and the curse were definitely here at this meeting. I continued speaking. I was Mion Sonozaki. I was on the side responsible for the curse. Therefore, at that moment, I didn't need to worry about anything. Nobody could tell the difference between Mion and me. That's what would keep me safe. お静かにお願いしますおら静かに静かに Uncle Kimiyoshi helped me to quiet everyone But his tone was violent He really scared me Everyone gradually became silent サイグデンに忍び込んだ族は4人あと2人います People once more became restless upon hearing that 
but Uncle Kimiyoshi yelled at them again, and they settled down. Tomitake san to Takano san wa funbetsu no tsuku otoshi datta hazu desu kara ne. Oyashiro sama no tatari ga tadachi ni kudarimashita ga. Mou futari wa kodomo desu. Mada tatari wa manugarete imasu ga. Nan no kejime mo naku yurusareru koto wa arimasen. Everyone stayed quiet at that time. They had all turned genuinely pale, trying not to miss a word I said. After all, they were all thinking that the kids I mentioned could be their own relatives or even grandchildren. They wanted to know who they were, to put their minds at ease. Sono futari no rozeki mono wa Sonozaki Shion. So ste. Maebara Keiichi. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. I could feel the air getting drier. It was so dry, it almost felt like it was going to start making a crackling noise. Sonozaki Shion wa sude ni. I couldn't even hear the old people breathe. I took a peek at Uncle Kimiyoshi. Who was sitting next to me? He adored Shion as if she were his own granddaughter, but she had been demoned away. I wanted to see how distressed and sad he'd look, and when I saw his face, oh fucking Christ! That actually gave me a heart attack. Oh God! <laughs> oh my God! Fuck! I felt a sensation on my back. As if my skin itself was making a crackling noise. He didn't even have an expression on his face. Uncle Kimiyoshi adored me. I loved him, and I thought he loved me too. That was why I expected him to be saddened after learning that I met with such a cruel fate. What was I thinking? The memory of his warm smile shattered inside me. There was no, there was no way of describing the fear I experienced in that moment, in mere words. He had suddenly changed into someone I didn't even recognize. Uncle Kimiyoshi noticed me looking at him and spoke. I had to take a deep breath and、uh, to regain my composure. Saiguden o Kashta Yonin, Subetani Oyashiro Sama wa Tatari o Kudasareru de Show. Maebara Keichi mo Lengai de Varimasenyo. Chilling looks, cruel looks, emotionless looks, shrewd looks. And the looks of the people who were about to snap. I could feel the demons chewing my words while they stared at me with their sharp eyes. I could see some of them sticking their snake like tongues in and out. I could see flames in some of their eyes. They were memorizing the names of the intruder the curse had yet to fall upon. And so the meeting went on. We were told not to tell the police too much, to report what they asked us, and to hold another meeting whenever something of significance happened. If something unexpected took place, we were to get in touch with either the head of the Kimiyoshi family or the head of the Sanosaki family for instructions on what to do. With those closing remarks, the meeting was over. It was already getting dark outside. Being in the valley surrounded by mountains, once the sun went down in Hinamizawa, it got dark quickly. Oh ho 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 ho! That was fucking chilly, man. That was fucking chilling. Oh oh yeah. Even if it was hot during the day, it cooled down quickly at night. The elderly people said goodbye to each other and left on their bicycles, on their motorcycles, or in their cars. Uncle Kimiyoshi waved them goodbye and started to head home himself. 
I called out to him. Oh shit, here we go. I called him Kimiyoshi san instead of Uncle Kimiyoshi. He stopped. うちへ寄ってもらえませんかおじょうさんが呼んでるのかいはいおーフックじゃあやるかなおんこきみよしへあらわたてそのさきはうすはいおーフックじゃあやるかなおんこきみよしへあらわたてそのさきはうすはいお
多分なかったんでしょうから確かにシオンちゃんは不憫だよな私かシオンか背中の入れ墨を見る以外に私たちをどんな方法で区別できるというのですか何もないミオンとシオンなんて区別自体が何の意味もないのに Twins are proof of bad luck. One should be eliminated as soon as they are born. Such is the family precept. The hag actually put her hands around my neck right after I came out of the womb. That's how the story went, at least. In the end, the hag didn't kill me, but instead pretended I didn't exist. She forced herself to call one of us Mion and the other Shion. She adored Mion and hated Shion. My sister and I never understood why we had to go through that. We didn't care who was Mion or Shion. So one day we came up with an idea. We decided to share the joy Mion experienced and the sadness Shion experienced. We often switched places. We were both Mion, and at the same time, we were both Shion. Adults around us tried to put different clothes on us or style our hair differently so they could tell us apart. That was nonsense. No matter what they did to us, all we had to do was switch places and nobody could tell us apart. Finally, they decided that we switched places because we were always together. On that day, Xion got to go to an amusement park. Since then, we've been separated. Mion chan. 私にはシオンがどういう将軍になるか想像もつきませんそしてどんなことに決まっても意見できる立場にありませんバッチャは身内であればむしろ意見を聞かない人ですしそうだなお嬢さんの悪いところだよシオンはその先シオンでなければとっくに殺されていたことでしょう、うん、死に準ずる罰が果たしてどのようなものか私には想像もつきません殺されなかったにしたって多分一生日の光を見ることはできないでしょうつまりは鬼隠しということかとミオンちゃんシオンちゃんは反省してるんだろええ。In response, Uncle Kimiyoshi tapped my shoulder and then slapped his own chest. He smiled reliably. 大丈夫。シオンちゃんはちゃんと反省してるなら、鬼隠しなんかなるもんか。キミヨシのおじいちゃんに任せなさい。お、本当に大丈夫なんですかそりゃあお嬢さんは私に意見されたら怒りはするだろうけどさでもおじいちゃんは引かないよシオンちゃんはしっかり反省してるんだから許してあげてほしいってちゃんと頼んでみせるから Tears began to fall from my eyes I knew it Uncle Kimiyoshi was my ally after all He said he would forgive Shion He was my ally. I was so very happy. Hontoni Kyoneno Hojo Satoshikun Mitani, Onikaxi Natchatari Shinai de Shoka. Uncle Kimiyoshi smiled reliably again and told me, Bachiatari no Hojo cano boz nara is a shirez. Sono Zakino Shion Chanarakito, Yurishte Morailute. <laughs> you just gone and fucking signed your death warrant, bitch. Oh my god. <laughs> Here we go. Huh? Ho Jo Ke no Boz te Satoshi kun no koto desu ka? Kyonen no gisei sha no. Ho Jo no renchi wa shikata nai sa. 村を丸ごと売ろうとした売国と同然のやつらだそういうやつらなら鬼隠しだってありえるだろうけど
そりゃあ北条家だからの話だよはあはあはあ北条家の連中は一族老とみんな呪われて当然だ鬼隠しに会うのはそういう連中なんだからだからしおんちゃんは大丈夫大丈夫なんだよおじいちゃんでもサトシ君は去年シオンがけじめをつけたから見逃してもらえることになったんじゃないのけじめなんのほら爪を3枚剥いだじゃないですか笠西さん吉郎おじさんそれからサトシ君で3人分。Oh no. Oh no. No. Oh, one of the nails don't count Satoshi Kun, it counts her own life. Oh my god. Samai.、Uh... You're forgetting your own self, Shion. Oh my god. Samai, that's all you mean, that's all good. Huh? What? あの三枚はそういう意味じゃなかったんですかいやー合ってるよ関わった人間が三人だから三枚の爪でけじめとしたんだよそう私も聞いてるよでも But what? でも笠西さん吉郎さんそれからシオンちゃんで三枚だと聞いてたよ。Fuck, I'm good! Oh yeah!But that means I'll know for you, bitch!What?What? w h a t I endured excruciating pain. The first one was my left pinky, then the ring finger, and then the middle finger. People held me down so I couldn't move, but I endured. I had to endure three nails. I didn't know which nail was for Satoshi kun. If my middle finger was for Satoshi kun, I'd have to endure until the middle finger was done so that Satoshi kun would be forgiven. That was why I endured. Even Mion said afterwards, everything was forgiven. Huh? 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 Mion, didn't you say Satoshi kun was forgiven? Didn't you? That's what I heard. I think that's what I heard. Or did I? Eh? Eh? Huh? I felt the air move. There shouldn't have been a breeze in that room, but I felt it anyway. The cool air stroked the back of my neck. That was when. My true self stood right behind me and nodded. Although there was no wind, my hair billowed. My burning wickedness burned and deep inside my eyes became visible. どうして北条聡志君は鬼隠しにあったのでしょう Woohoo! Oh yeah! Eh? Oh damn, I'm loving this moment so much! <clears throat> All right, let's go. Let's go, baby. Satoshi Kun no Goryo Shin wa Tashka ni Mura o Uro to Shimashita. Eh? Oya Shiro Sama no Tatari ga atta no wa Tozen des. Ooh. Demo Satoshi Kun wa Sono Ryo Shin no Kodomo de atta da ke. Sono Satoshi Kun ni Donna Tsumi ga. Oh, ho, 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 
どんな罪があったのかと聞いているのです。キミヨシ didn't know what to say to the sudden question. He seemed dismayed. 聞かずともわかります。その先、おりょうが決めたのです。おやしろさまのたたりがおよぶのは、ほうじょうのせいをもつすべての人間と決めたから。ま、待って、みやんちゃん。別に、そういうことが決まってるわけじゃない。決めたわけではないのですか。そうだよ。そんなことを決めたことなんかない。北条家にはお社様のたたりがいずれ下る。そういう話をおぼろげにしたことはあっても、そんなにはっきりとしたことを言及したことは一度もないし。ではさっきあなたが口にしたという言葉は何を根拠に出たものなのですかあ,ああ、ごめんよ、みやんちゃん。あれは、その、言い過ぎたよ。Na na 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 na, bitch. Na 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 na. <laughs> You're not getting off that easy, boy. So you go to this. Oh, Joe, can I run in at the motatari? Oh, Joe, no, now can stay ever. Don't know, I'm a stacoto de a night to you. So you can I got my in stay to go to a Monday nano this. Satoshku needs me a long and a caronga. Oh, Joe, to you say, I'm a reba, so they can get a washi. そういう考えが蔓延していることが問題なのです。そしてあなたはその蔓延でいぶされた汚れた思考に汚染された迷信盲信。許せない。お前のような存在が許せない。お前のようなやつがサトシ君と一緒に行くことにもすり晴らしてサトシ君がかわいそう。本当にかわいそう。彼が何をしたの何もしてない。何もやってない。ただ、ただ、ただ、それにどんな罪がバスがたたりが呪いがどうして振りかからねばならなかったのか。一体サトシ君に何の罪があったというのか <laughs> oh my god! I'm actually a little bit creeped out right now. Okay. I didn't click on anything, so、uh, yeah, that was all by itself. Holy crap.、Uh, what? Kimiyoshi's upper body went to, bent backward and fell onto the floor. Oh, okay, I smacked him or something like about that. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, 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 gotta, 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 Like, laugh or something, right? Oh, shit. What did you say? Yubei, Takano san to Tomitake san ga shindan da so des. Or not? I don't, I don't remember this call exactly. Takano san wa shou shitai de. Tomitake san wa jisatsu mitai na kanji de. Kesa shittan des. Oto san ga shinrui no hito kara no denwa de hana shiteru no kite. This is happening right after. Huh. Oh, yeah. Okay. No, 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 no. This is when she. Okay. This is when she、uh, tells、uh, Keiichi that she told、uh, Kimiyoshi. And then next day,、um, everyone finds out that,、uh, yeah, you know, blah, blah, blah. Okay. I got you. I got you. I know where we are. Okay. As I thought, Keiichi didn't know anything about what happened after the festival last night. Okay, but still, Shion is calling Keiichi after. You know, stun gunning Kimiyoshi? Like, holy crap, okay. Yikes.、Uh, Keiichi insisted that unless he heard about it on the news, it couldn't be real. But the investigations into the series of mysterious deaths had done in secret now. What? Did I read that right? Eh, whatever. Of course, he didn't hear about it on the news. Son Chow, Toka, Ato, Sonozaki, Kesu, Shin, no Kim Bachi, Ga, my recording. Kesatu, Ni, Omo, Iki, Ri, Atsu, Ryoko, Kake, Tan, Dat, Te, Kee, Te, Mas. I am. Perfect. Okay. Ja, Tsumari, Futari, No, Shi, Wa, Himitsu, Ni, Shori, Sare, Te, Shimata, Do, Yu, Koto, Ga. So, Yu, Koto, Des. Motiron, Okay, 
捜査活動にはかなりの制限が加えられているそうです。This chapter is long. Damn. これは事実上の捜査妨害と言えるでしょうね。信じられない。人が死んだのに、それが公にされず、ひそやかに処理されるなんて。So wait, is Kimiyoshi dead from the stun gun or is he somehow still alive? I believe Kimiyoshi was. Yeah, he's old, but he, he was a lot younger than the old hag. So he could still be alive. And in that case, did she already put him down in the tor-、uh, torture chambers? Like, what the hell is going on with that? I don't know. 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 I don't この雛見沢では毎年渡流しの夜にお社様のたたりということにして誰かを殺してもいい土壌がいつの間にか作り上げられているんです。Yes. That's the truth about the series of mysterious deaths in Hinamizawa, also known as the Ushio Sama's curse. On the day of Watanagashi, two people will be killed. The perpetrators are using the curse of Ushio Sama as an excuse to kill one victim and make another disappear. That's why the curse of Uyushio Sama takes place. That's what happens in Hinamizawa, and that's what happens with the curse. What Kimiyoshi said is all true. Infecting everyone with the idea that the enemy from the damn conflict deserved to die was the root of all of this. That was a system of vague commands used in the Sanazaki family, created by the, a,、uh, the head, Oryu. One thing that must be mentioned about the command system is that the person giving the orders and the one ex- executing them didn't need to interact in any way. Though Ryu was the commander, she never gave actual orders. She only had to expect something to happen. Every single one of the family council members around her would want to satisfy that expectation if given the chance. They didn't have to be proactive about satisfying it. They could be passive too. But when the chance arose, anyone who knew Oryu's intentions could potentially become the one to execute her orders. Therefore, Oryu would never know who actually executed her order, and none of the relatives knew it either. But they all knew things would conclude just as Uri wanted, and they could assume it was one of their own who did it for her. Hmm. This passive support system was thoroughly effective, and it spread all over the village. Its ties became even tighter after the dam conflict. Anyone could be the one to execute Uri's orders. Therefore, everyone supported each other. If someone did something, then the others would try to satisfy Oryu's expectation in different ways. For example, they'd come up with false evidence or otherwise pass,、uh, passively interfere with an investigation. Even if they didn't know exactly who they were protecting, they'd still work together to protect whoever it was. Yes, I had finally figured out how it all worked. Phrased in a more organized matter, it would go as follows. The system of killing two people who are unwanted by the village each year required three elements. Oh shit. The first element was a region of solidarity. It was created during the long and unique history of Hinamizawa. The villagers' bonds became even tighter during the dam conflict. That was one of the conditions for this place to have a curse. It was an element that was already in the region, not one that could be created. The next element was having the same moral standards. This was a very important element, as the curse wouldn't have happened without it. Also, this element was created by Uryu Sonozaki herself, and that was why she could claim that the system was established by her own will. Having the same moral standards means that everyone, everyone everywhere acknowledges the same enemy. Even when everyone in the village joined together, 
it would be meaningless if they all didn't know exactly who the enemy was. During the dam conflict, Ryo Sanazaki made the identity of the enemy very clear to everyone. They couldn't just say that they were against the dam, con uh, dam construction and that the government was their enemy. That wasn't clear enough. The government didn't really pinpoint who the enemy was. But Uryu made enemies out of the construction site itself, and therefore its manager. She chose uh, targets that the villagers could see with their own eyes. Smart. They were clear and easy to understand. The villagers acknowledged that everyone at the dam construction site was their enemy, and that construction site manager was the enemy commander. Using the same method, she labeled one after another as an enemy of the village, practically cataloging a list of enemies to print into the villagers' minds. Damn. Earlier, I had used the term infecting for this phenomenon. Those infected by this idea were the people unconsciously giving the orders to commit murder. When the infection spread across the village, when all the Hinamizawa's residents acknowledged the same enemy, that's when Hinamizawa itself became a murderer. Or you combined those two elements, a solidary, uh, solidary region and having the same moral standards, then selected the enemy and spread that notion throughout the village. Holy fucking crap, that, this is a lot. <laughs> oh my lord. Ah. The law would normally have punished both the one who committed the crime and the one who gave the order. But Uryu's system didn't require an order at all. Uryu just had to become concerned about the enemy she had pre-selected. But that alone couldn't cause the curse to take place. Uryu's concern was likely a safety device. And even when the safety device was off, the curse couldn't occur, wouldn't occur, unless there was a finger to pull the trigger. The last necessary element was to set a date for execution. The night of Watanagashi. The night to venerate Oyashio Sama, the guardian deity of Hinamizawa. On that night, the curse of Oyashio Sama falls upon two enemies of the village, and they disappear. Everyone in the village acknowledged that as fact. In other words, if the same incident took place on any of the other 364 nights of the year, it would be nothing other than a murder case. But if it happened on the night of Watanagashi, then it would transform into the curse of Oyashiro Sama. Oh, god damn! The idea the villagers are allowed to kill their enemies on the night of Watanagashi had infected them. The villagers were the cells of this huge creature called Hinamizawa, and each cell would be taught who the enemy was. The set date was basically a green light for whoever was in the best position to kill the enemy. That was the curse, the truth of the curse of Oyashio Sama. Therefore, the one who actually killed Satoshi-kun isn't my enemy. The one who set up this murderous system and the one who named Satoshi-kun's family as the enemy is my enemy. To use a broader definition, Hinamizawa itself had the very system of Oyashio Sama's curse is my enemy. I already killed the hag, the one who designed the system. Kimiyoshi, the one whose job it was to infect the villagers with the system, was already in my hands. I just had to find out who else was involved, and how much. It was like pulling a weed, while being very careful not to break its roots. I announced that Keichi Maibara was one of the people who snuck into the shrine storage. I was certain that fact had already spread throughout the underside of the village. In other words, Keichi Maibara was an object of the curse of Oyushio sama now. Takano-san and Tametake-san were found dead, having been killed in gruesome ways. 
That was the curse of Oyashiro-sama. In that case, they could demon away two more people as sacrifices to calm the anger of Oyashiro-sama. The set date for the curse was already over, but just like that, uh, but just like what happened to Satoshi-kun, demoning away was allowed a little extra time. Something would happen to Keiichi Marbara within a few days. I'd wait patiently, careful to not let my enemy simply take Keiichi Marbara, my bait. Ooh, my lord, this is a lot of reading all of a sudden. Oh my god, I was not prepared. Keiichi had been yelling on the other end of the phone for some time. He kept yelling that he didn't want to go into the ritual storehouse to begin with. He claimed he was simply invited by Takano-san and me. He shouldn't be in danger because of that, he said. He was feeling a sense of crisis and tension. This was going to work. The livelier the bait, the easier it is to spot. <laughs> Shut up. I've heard enough of your pitiful tears. I hung up the phone. There was no point in talking to him when he got like that. Besides, I'd already achieved my goal, which was to make him realize the danger awaiting him. I took a deep breath then called the house of the village chief. Hey, what? Hey, Kimiyoshi. Sonozaki, how are you? Did Sonchou-san get lost? Oh, it's a Mion-chan. Oh, okay. I was calling you from the back of the door, but it's not easy. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to throw some fire in the corner. I've been asking a lot of questions in the corner. <laughs> oh, maybe you fucked up right there. Uh oh. But any more so than stand this guy. Send in down or so she's the Sagashima at the Hoga Idaro to you. Got to this. Conno Jigon Nigai. So many better than you pay for me not to talk to you. What an agassi no chocolate is cara. Scotty Sintonia at Scott the Hoga Ito no cotodes. それでも見つからないなら、明朝を警察に通報しましょう。見つかる見つからないは別にして、痛くない腹を探られない方がいいでしょうから。お嬢さんがそう言ったのかい。はい。直接声を聞かないと信用できないなら、電話先に出させますよ。い、いえ、わかりました。青年団を集めて探しましょう。それで見つからなければ、翌朝に。警察に通報します。青年団の連絡もよろしくお願いしますね。私もバッチャの代行ということでそちらに参ります。あ、ありがとう。すぐにみんなを集めます。ええ。では。The youth group had gathered at the Fruit Shrine. They were going to try to find the mayor. I also had to go in the absence of the hag. Just to be mean, I stopped by the underground torture room to let the mayor know that I was headed to the Fruit Day Shrine to search for him. Incidentally, according to the tab on the keychain, this underground torture room was actually called the Underground Storehouse for Ritual Implements. This was the man who was yelling. Wait, what? This was the man who was yelling that whoever trespasses in the ritual storehouse should be killed. Although it was an underground ritual storehouse, he was there now, atoning for what he had done. It was pretty ironic. Maybe I was the only one who felt that way, though. Kimiyoshi no oji chan? Oguai wa ikaga desu ka? Hmm. Kimiyoshi didn't say a word, but he made a noise with the chain. Ima ne? 村中でおじいちゃんの姿が見えなくなったって大騒ぎしてますよおじいちゃんの家から相談が来たので青年団を収集して捜索を行うことにしましたこれから行ってくるところです Was this mean or what? Kimiyoshi could only make noise with a chain He couldn't even express any emotion other than anguish 鎖少し長くしてあげましょうか
私の質問にちゃんと答えてくれるたびにそうですね鎖の輪っか1個分長くしてあげますあと3個も長くなればだいぶ楽になると思うんですけどねうううう Yoshi's hands were tied behind his back with a tight wire He was wearing a leather collar with a chain, which was strapped tightly around his neck, too. The collar's chain was on a pulley a chain,、uh, attached to the ceiling, the chain pulling him up toward it. Oof. That chain was very short and pulled very tight. Kimiyoshi had to stand on tiptoes to be able to breathe. He had been like that for almost an hour already. Damn. I thought he was going to be in a cell, not in one of those、uh, <laughs> devices. Oof. He was already exhausted. If I left him overnight, he'd probably end up hanging himself. I didn't know what I was going to do. I'm going to ask you to ask me about it. I'm going to ask you to ask me about it. I'm going to ask 私とおしゃべりの間だけちょっと緩めましょう。I turned the pulley just a little to loosen the chain that was pulling on Kimiyoshi's neck. Kimiyoshi's heel finally touched the ground, relieving the pressure on his muscles. 知らないんだよ、シオンちゃん。本当に知らないんだ。サトシ君が生きてるのか死んでるのか、それすらもおじいちゃんは本当に何も知らないんだよまあ、ひなみざわのたたりのシステムはそういう部分で機密性を保持していますからねおじいちゃんが知らないというのもありえなくはないことですなら聞き方を変えますサトシ君がどうなってるのか君義家当主の立場でご意見を伺いたいですうぅサトシ君は生きてる死んでる Kimiyoshi didn't know what to say. If he said he didn't know, I'd tighten the chain and leave the room. That would be like a death sentence for him. But all I said was that I wanted him to speak as the head of the Kimiyoshi family. I didn't ask him to tell the truth. But he didn't know what to say to avoid souring my mood and to get me to loosen the chains around him. He was obviously trying to figure out how to make me extend the chain. Ah, but rumors aren't good. I don't want rumors. I want facts. Ah, Shinkansen de Tokyo Nit de Yats des ne? That's bullshit. Kinsat na Tokyo des na to mita. To you yo na no kita oboe ga. Ne, 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 ne. Oishi had told me that、uh, Satoshi kun had been witnessed getting on a bullet train heading to Tokyo at Nagoya Station. But the police didn't know if that really happened, or what became of Satoshi kun after that. Therefore, this was simply a random assertion of Kimiyoshi's. Kimiyoshi's <laughs> Toshi Sama? Noroware Ta Ichizok, Hojo Ke no Ningen o Waza Waza Shisso Nante Yu Kota Keshkata o Stete. わざわざ生かしておくのにどんな理由があるんですないんじゃないですかそれにその東京で警察が見たという情報ソースを教えてください私は大石と一時期連絡を密にしていましたがそんなのは聞いたことないですおじいちゃん私の機嫌を取ろうとしていい加減なことを言ったならかえって怒っちゃいますよ I reached for the pulley controlling the chains around Kimiyoshi, and that act alone sent him panicking as he feared them tightening once more. Go, go, me, yo. But you need Shion Chan or Okara Seo and the Tsumaria Nine Dio. I am Mario. But I see, go king entry no Hanasina Kikitaku Nine. Kimiyoshi no Jichani, Satoshkun no Koto, Shirabel, Kyoryoku, Onegai Stil Dakenandes. わかってるちゃんと真面目に考えるから
I took my hand off the pulley. Saying that, Kamiyosha began making loud groaning noises to try and show he was thinking hard. Smart answer, but I don't think that's what she wanted to hear. <laughs> I really didn't mean anything too deep by it, but what I said truly scared Kamiyoshi. サトシ君で、<笑> サトシ君がおばごろしの犯人だって信じてるんですよ。あいつは例えばばあさんあたりに買収されて仕立て上げられた身代わりじゃないかと思うんですけど。それはおじいちゃんも思ってたよ。突然ひょっこりと真犯人
鬼隠しにした実行犯は誰だと思いますおぉ。わからないよ。ああ、ファッキンコース。それに誰が実際にやったかは問わないのが不分立だったから。He was right. That was how the system worked. And so that was a bad question. 誰がやったにせよ。大したものですよね。だって。人を殺して死体も出てこないなんて結構簡単なことじゃないんじゃないですかうん。誰が殺したかは別にして。例えば、死体の処理をお嬢さんが手伝ったという可能性は考えられるよ。今いるここの奥に死体を捨てるための井戸があることは知ってるだろう。Yeah, that's what I was thinking. ああ、確かに。<笑>どこかの山中に埋めるくらいならここの井戸に捨てる方が絶対に安全ですもんね。Whoever disappears becomes a sacrifice to calm the anger of Oyashiro-sama. That was the rule of this game. Therefore, the bodies must never be discovered. That's why the bodies had to be dumped somewhere nobody could find them. It's very possible that the well was used for that. Then Satoshi kun is at the bottom of the well. I grabbed a flashlight and headed to the huge cave with all the cells. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh my gosh, she's actually gonna do it. As I turned on the lights in the cave, Mion noticed me and gave me a worried look. I ignored her and headed to the cell in the back. I was still very impressed by how well. <laughs> how the well was hidden. Ugh. It was almost artistic. Oh shit. I shone the flashlight at the, bottom, at the bottom of the well. I had no way of knowing how deep the well was. The light of the flashlight wasn't strong enough to reach the bottom. I inhaled, then screamed into the well. Satoshi -kun. Satoshi -kun! Not gonna be alive, you fucking dimwit. <laughs> fucking idiot. <sighs> Satoshi Kun's name echoed again and again. It was obviously a very deep well. I thought of climbing down using the widgets on the wall, but with the flashlight hanging from my neck, I couldn't light my footing properly. And even if there was enough lighting, I didn't even know the widgets were sturdy enough. Oh, come on, go down there, see if the body is down there. It would be like committing suicide. Satoshi kun was at the bottom of this well. That's when I felt it. A warm hand rubbed my head for sure. Shion, you finally found me. Satoshi kun, Satoshi kun, Satoshi kun. Oh my god! I, I, I've been looking for you for so long. I'm sorry I couldn't find you while you were still alive. Sorry, I'm sorry. It's not your fault, Shion. There was nothing you could have done before I was killed. But you did everything you could do after I was dead. Satoshi kun, I want to join you. Whee! <laughs> Just fucking imagine. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm coming right now. I'm going to jump, so please catch me. Oh my god, is she actually. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, Satoshi kun smiled bitterly. I was saddened to see him reject me. Shion, I'm happy that you found me. But you are alive, Shion. It's so important to be alive. You can't waste it. If you aren't here, I don't want to live. Oh my god! I want to be with you, Satoshi kun. I want to be close to you. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to rub my head again. I want to spend time with you. I'll be a good girl. I want to be with you. Live. Do I have to? Live and enjoy your life, okay? What's so fun about living alone? You'll find out so long as you're alive. Ikiru. Ikiru yo. Ikiru. <sighs> the eerie well now felt warm. I wasn't allowed to go down to the bottom. But the edge of this well was the place where you and I could meet. 
And that's the end. Mio. Nope. Satoshi kun. Mitsuketa. Ido no. Soko nanda ne. So da to. Omo. Soko shika. Naimon. Mion started to sob. Mion wa. Satoshi kun ga korosareru tokoro ni wa. Iyawase na katta nda yo ne. うん。もし言い合わせたら、サトシ君を許してもらえるよう、ばあさんに意見してくれたかな。絶対にする。せめて命だけはって。絶対に言うよ。いや、ハイリーダウト。嘘だ。ほほほ。おお。え。え。
体がミヨンの外見をしているだけでも無実が走るうんお前じゃなく私がミヨンだったらだったらー !I kicked the bars, I kicked them again and again! ミヨン curled up fearfully in the back of the cell, as if she were trying to prevent the bars from crashing down onto her. That's the end of the chapter! God damn it. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. What am I gonna do for a thumbnail for this episode? Oh, page 188. We're gonna have to read that now, aren't we? <laughs> Let's go ahead. Oh. After that, I joined the youth group in the search of Kamiyoshi. I went down the town council's phone directory, ah, directory and called to see if he had visited. Then had the group split according to the circular device divisions and sent them to search the town. Everybody seemed to be amusing. Wait, what? Assuming? Fuck. <laughs> uh, everybody seemed to be assuming they wouldn't find him. But since I knew they definitely never would, it was just bothersome to me. Even after midnight, they were all still enthusiastically looking for him. I bore the sleepiness while yawning. Then I heard somebody whisper, Last year, we did the same thing when Satoshi Hojo-kun went missing. The youth group was looking for someone. Who would never be found just like last year. I was yawning because I knew this. Last year there must have oh, yeah, there must also have been some people who were yawning and grinning on the inside. Huh? It was already 2 in the morning. Although they spent this much time searching for Kimiyoshi, they didn't do the same when Satoshi Kun went missing. After all, some people knew they wouldn't find him. They must have been sleepy. They must have said they should leave it to the police. Shit. Shit, I want to kill the people who said that. Huh. Alright. Hot damn. That was a long ass chapter. But one that was so fucking eventful. Holy crap. No CGI though. Hmm. CG I mean. I'm gonna have to think up of something as a thumbnail. But uh, that should be fun. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, share the video, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, because there will be more Higurashi and more uploads soon. So stay tuned and look forward to that, and please, everybody, remember to stay sinful, folks!